I'm going to show you how to turn off the no signal message on some LG TVs in two simple steps. Step 1. Pick up the LG Magic Remote. Step 2. Press the red button. What? That's it? But wait, there's a catch. This method is currently only available on LG's 2021 TVs with the latest firmware installed. Here I'm using an LG C1 OLED TV, and if you long press the settings button on your remote control, go into the support submenu, then click on software update, you can see that the software version is 3.20.12. If you're not on this firmware, you can visit LG's website to download the firmware, and then manually install it using the USB method, or wait for the firmware to be automatically pushed over the air at some point. There are other benefits to this firmware version which I'll explain later in this video. But I think many of you will be very happy that the no signal message can now be hidden with one press of a remote control button, so that when the television is receiving no video signal, a series of beautiful picture frame screensaver will be displayed without the intrusive no signal message floating around the screen. And this will continue to be the case if you switch to another blank input, or even after switching on the TV after standby. So you only need to press the red button once. If you don't own a 2021 LG TV such as the C1 or G1, don't worry, because according to my sources, this feature to disable the no signal message will also be included in the upcoming firmware update for last year's CX or C10 OLED to add 4K 120Hz Dolby Vision gaming support. Of course, not everyone will want a screensaver without message. That's life, isn't it? You can't please everyone all the time. Just like how some people call my SDR to HDR grading video fake HDR, even though it's just a proof of concept to demonstrate how spectacular these movies would look in 4K HDR. Anyway, to show a black screen when receiving no video signal, press the mute button on the LG Magic Remote three times, which will bring up a menu on the right of the screen, where you can choose to turn off no signal image. Of course, once you select this option, the no signal message will be displayed, otherwise you won't even know whether the TV is on or off, cause it's an OLED with true blacks in it. LG has also added other new features with the latest firmware of 3.20.12, let me show you. If I long press the settings button on the LG Magic Remote, this will summon the user menu. If I click on support, you can see here that there is a new item called OLED Care with this latest firmware. If I click on it, you can see here that there are three further items, Care Picture Settings, Device Self Care and OLED Panel Care. If I click on Care Picture Settings, there are three presets here, Comfort Mode, Theater Mode and Kids Care Mode. I won't click on any of them yet. I shall return to explain them later, but if I can get up from here and click on device self-care, you can see here that there is a new item called memory optimizer. Starting this will free up storage and memory occupied by unused apps, and this is necessary from time to time to clear the cache just like what you do to speed up your smartphone. I think LG has received some complaints about the sluggishness of WebOS 6.0, and so they've actually put in this memory optimizer setting, which potentially can make WebOS 6.0 more responsive. If we get back into the support submenu, and then OLED care, and then device self care again, you can see here that the energy saving submenu has also been moved here. Now, this is an important submenu in my opinion because you know in the first instance when you unbox an LG TV you should always try to turn energy saving off to prevent the TV from automatically adjusting its brightness its picture settings based on the ambient lighting that is detected in the room by the light sensor on the TV so if you want an accurate picture i think it is necessary to switch off energy saving step but more importantly, for some of you, maybe you are listening to music on your LG TV and you want to switch off the screen. Now, the screen off function is actually located under the energy saving submenu and it can be a struggle to get to this submenu by navigating so many layers. So one tip I have for you guys is that you can long press the voice assistant button on the LG Magic Remote and say screen off, this will turn off the screen, so I shall demonstrate it. Screen off. Okay, I'll turn off the screen. 
and this is much quicker than having to manually navigate through so many layers of user menu just to get to the screen off option. Now if we can get back to OLED panel care, this used to be known as OLED screensaver but that can be a bit confusing because some people may take OLED screensaver to literally mean starting a screensaver on their OLED TV which obviously you know it's just like that time I asked for an extra large bed when booking a hotel room and when I walked in with my luggage there were two large beds. Under OLED panel care you get all the anti-screen burn measure that you can control from the regular menu. Basically pixel cleaning will start a major compensation cycle. Screen move is pixel shifting. This will move the picture on screen very mildly in several directions to reduce the risk of image retention and also permanent screen burn. Adjust logo brightness will detect static elements on screen and then dim down the brightness and there's a new care recommendations as well which is just probably some advice and guidance and recommendations but these are the new items under OLED care which is more centralized and probably more user friendly for most people to revisit care picture settings you can see there are three presets here comfort mode theater mode and kids care mode if you select any of them this will lock out the picture settings you can see here that they are all grayed out you can't change any of the advanced settings and also it will affect some of the OLED panel care settings as well screen move and adjust logo brightness are locked out so basically I think these presets are intended to reduce the risk of image retention but I don't think video enthusiasts should use them because you know the picture settings are going to be locked out and you can't access your calibrated settings and I think you know the comfort mode is definitely too blue the theater mode is too warm to my eyes and then kids care mode is again a bit on the blue side and with kids care mode I think what LG is trying to do is to also set adjust logo brightness to high because you know in children's programs not that I watch any of them or many of them <laughs> that there will be some bright logos which may pose a risk for OLED burning so I think you know they will set adjust logo brightness to high to reduce the risk of image retention and also permanent screen burn but I think you know for any video enthusiast or video file I think the past care picture settings will always be off because you can access the picture controls to further fine-tune the picture quality on your TV. Now that you've learned how to turn off the no signal message on your LG C1, you should also turn off three other TV settings which I will demonstrate in this video here.